Bunny, and it's time for everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today we have a brand new Wubble Bubble Ball to test out. So they've done it again, and they've invented a brand new anti-gravity magical floating Wubble Bubble Ball called the Wubble X. So we have a pink one today, and we've got a blue one, and I think we're gonna try and inflate them both. So uh, these come with not only the Wubble Bubble, but they also come with these specific cans of helium, because in order to achieve the magic zero gravity, you have to fill the ball up with helium and not air. So when you order each Wubble Bubble kit or the Wubble X kit, you're going to get this thing and two canisters of helium. The neutral buoyancy or the anti-gravity part of the Wubble Bubble only lasts for five to 30 minutes. After that, it's gonna be just like a regular tiny wubble bubble ball, I would imagine. Each of these um, are $19.99, I believe, plus like $8.99 shipping and handling. So this is roughly a $30 toy, which is pretty pricey. Oh my goodness, look at it. That's how small this thing is in the package. I just wanna show you guys a size comparison. That's the size of the tiny Wubble Deflated, and this is the Wubble X. So as you guys can see, it is incredibly smaller than even the tiny Wubble. In this kit, they give you the Wubble and uh, some awesome stickers. You also get some repair patches, cause I hear even from you guys that that is quite a complaint, that the Wubble bubbles pop really fast. I've personally never had one pop on me, but I don't know, Dogman and I kind of just throw it around at the house. We don't really take it outside much. This one, for the record, is really only meant for indoor play. They say that because you're filling it with helium, so potentially it is so lightweight it could just float off into outer space. And lastly, and most oddly, you get a package of petroleum jelly. I'm not exactly sure what you use this for. I guess it is to inflate it. They give you these little straw things and I guess you have to like insert the straw so maybe you have to put petroleum jelly on there so that you don't break the tiny little wobble. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to quickly go over the instructions to prevent any mishaps. Now over and over again, literally on all of the packaging and the instructions, they direct you to watch a magical YouTube tutorial before you try and fill this up on your own. And I have literally scoured YouTube typing in Wubble X over and over. I went to their official WubbleX.com website. Nowhere do I see this magical tutorial video. Mostly what comes up is my own Wubble Bubble videos. I'm not helpful to myself. Also in the instructions, I found out that these are not repair tabs. You have to place one of these seal tabs and it's kind of like protected by this sticker. You're actually supposed to put this over the valve once you inflate the ball to trap and seal the helium in there. Step one is to open this little pack of petroleum jelly and you're supposed to put this all over the end of the fill valve. Next, you're supposed to pinch the ball from the sides until you feel the valve and you're supposed to stick the inflation valve. This is always the hardest part. I guess that's why they started giving people like petroleum jelly and stuff. The first time I did the original Wubble Bubble Ball, it literally took me several hours to figure out how to get it inflated. All right, I think we're ready to go. It now looks like some kind of like creepy dessert on a stick. It only took about 10 minutes to finally get the inflation stick inside of the valve. Step four is to place the fill tube on to the nozzle and then you're supposed to remove this safety tab on top. It says tear off tab. Ta-da! 
Next, you're supposed to hold the Wubble X gently from the bottom, press the trigger in gently at first until the Wubble Bubble starts to fill. Oh, there we go, okay. Um, after a few seconds later, press the trigger in all the way and fill the ball. And it says, if you notice your Wubble X starting to float before all the helium is dispensed, stop filling and save the excess helium. So it's still in my hand, it's not floating yet. Okay, that is all of the helium in here. I'm squeezing as hard as I can and no more helium. Oh, wow. Okay, so the next steps are supposed to happen very quickly. I'm supposed to remove the nozzle off of here and put this sticker on as quick as possible. And then they say, give it to the child immediately because the helium, whoa, oh my goodness. Okay, this thing really definitely does Float. Look at this. Whoa! All right. I'm going to let it go and it immediately. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, this is why. Oh no! It just went all the way to the ceiling, you guys. Uh, so, this is definitely why they say don't play with it outside because if you let it go, it immediately floats as far away as humanly possible. And. Uh, Dogman is not home right now, so give me just a second to figure out how I'm gonna get this down. I hope this isn't gonna pop it. Eh, come down. No! Here's something to definitely not do at home. I'm gonna try and stand on this wheelie chair and retrieve the Wubble Bubble. It just went to the literal highest point of my ceiling, I feel like. All the way up there. Do you see it? It's just taunting me in the ceiling it's being very evil so i'm gonna try and stand in this rolling spinning chair uh to get the wubble bubble and i'm still like 10 feet too short can you guys even see this this is just sad let me go through this process again but with the blue one and i'll try and immediately not lose that one so Give me just a second. This level bubble filled up super duper fast. It literally took me longer to open the can of helium than it did to get this wubble going. I don't know why this one was so easy, uh, but yay, we have a fresh new wubble bubble filled up. I'm very quickly sealing this one off and I'm gonna try and be more careful because it has been about Five, probably 10 minutes since we got the pink one inflated and there it is on my ceiling still taunting me there was supposed to be some cool stuff that you could do if you had two wubble x's but i guess we'll never find out because that one is on the ceiling oh my goodness okay so you have to be so careful with them i'm trying to do like some cool magic like whoa so you can kind of like bat it around and you just have to be so careful because they fly away so fast this is definitely an indoor only toy it feels a lot a lot thinner than the original wubble or the whoa no <laughs> i just lost it again this is infuriating everybody's always asking how tall i am in my videos and i'm 5'3 and these are like 11 foot ceilings i'm gonna try and dangerously stand on a chair i'm still so incredibly out of reach i look like american gothic here <laughs> so unfortunately Dogman is out to dinner with his family tonight but I called him and I told him I was standing on chairs and stuff and he told me to stop doing that because it's dangerous but I had a great idea uh, maybe I can knock it down with the power of the Swiffer Sweeper come down here you wubble bubble you unruly wubble I'm still almost too short look at this I'm almost using like all the capabilities okay knocking knocking the wubble bubble down no oh what am i filming this is a total workout i'm like out of breath okay at least we have our original wubble back and ah, it's still trying to like fly to the ceiling that's like mostly what they're for look i'm trying to do cool tricks like they do in the infomercial whoa 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 okay ah, this is definitely probably more fun 
If there was two people here, you can play catch with me. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it right to you. Yay! It's not floating nearly as fast now, but ah, uh, which almost kind of makes it more manageable. I'm gonna try and get the blue one down as well. This should be interesting. I now have two wobbles. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so you can do in the commercial, you can like stick them together. There's also little pieces of my hair on it. That's attractive. They showed that in the commercial where you can kind of like twist two of them around and they are a little bit sticky. So they do stick together, which is kind of cool because they're not sticking like where the valve sticker was. They're just sticking to each other magically. So that kind of makes it look a little cooler. This honestly looks like a piece of bubble gum. Like if I was just like blowing a really big bubble, right? Um, so that looks really cool. I have to say that this kind of like anti-gravity stuff is lasting longer than I expected. It's already been 20 minutes with all of the helium in it and there's still very much like anti-gravity. I mean, they would still definitely float to the ceiling. They're a bit more manageable now. While the pink one is, the blue one still like immediately wants to try and escape from me. They're actually much, whoa, no, okay. Ah! I feel like the wobble is like an unruly child that's like in a store trying to run away from its parents. Behold, my wobble magic. I bet this is just what Houdini dreamed of one day. Yes. I can't think of any other tricks to do with them. I'm just chunking them. No, 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 no. <laughs> now they're both on my ceiling. Woo. I almost literally knocked a hundred year old mirror off my wall. Uh, so definitely when you're inside playing with these, be careful. Okay, so the only thing I have to say is in the commercial, they kind of make it where it looks like, oh, you can just kind of like have it levitate there. And uh, you were supposed to use the entire can of helium. So I don't think I over inflated them with helium or anything, but um, they're definitely, like they definitely always want to go up in the air. It's not like if I let them go, they'll just kind of like stick here for a couple seconds. They are slowing down a little bit, which to me kind of makes it more fun. So if I was going to fill these with helium again, I may try and fill them with a little bit less helium just so there's kind of more, oh, I can't believe it. They just went to the ceiling again. That's like the fifth time. This one will levitate a little bit better. It doesn't want to run away quite as fast. That's kind of cool. Okay. Ta-da! I probably love it as much as I loved the original Wubble. I feel like, and this is so rare in as seen on TV items, but I feel like honestly, it does what they're showing in the infomercial. It will float, you can bounce it around, you can like spin it. Especially if you have two, it's easier to spin it and do some of those tricks because it makes it a little bit you know, kind of like heavier or less floaty. I will just say though, that they do not feel like a durable toy. You definitely could not rough house or anything with this thing because I can imagine if people have a lot of problems with the original wobble breaking, that this would just be crazy. Like I feel like anything could pop this. Like I feel like fingernails that are too sharp could pop this because it's so thin and it's so lightweight. This one truly honestly does feel more like a bubble than a ball. It's very, very thin and that's obviously to help it with the anti-gravity floating kind of thing. As you guys can see, it's now probably been almost 40 minutes and uh, there they are still very much in the air at the tallest point of my ceiling. So they do not show any signs of deflating anytime soon or losing their buoyancy, I guess you could say. So it's definitely already exceeded what they say to expect, which is five to 30 minutes. 
I'm really jazzed about this one. I feel like it is a lot of fun. If you're somebody who just kind of likes to throw things around but you don't rough house too much, this is probably perfect for you. That is it for today. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, leave me a comment, a suggestion, a request of what you guys would like for me to try out in next week's episode of Does This Thing Really Work? I will be out on the search. I will look for these items. I will find them and we will test them out together. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!